Hello friend, welcome back. In this session, I will discuss about how can create that multi-authentication system with using Laravel one of the package as a JDStream stream package and we'll develop it with using Laravel latest version as a Laravel 9. Okay, so how can do this work? Step by step, I will show everything with the live example. For doing this, first of all, there is a Laravel official website. If you go to that Laravel ecosystem, Laravel by default using that breeze rather than you can also use another authentication system as a JD stream. So how to create that multi authentication with the JD stream is very interactive. One of the things in this session, step by step, I will show you everything with the live example. For install the JD stream, first of all, we have to do, we have to create one of the Laravel project. So if you want to create that Laravel project, simply go to that documentation and into the documentation Laravel latest version as a nine. Okay, here for the installing that nine, that your main things will be needed. You have to update your PHP version. So right now I'm using that um, XAMPP. I'm using XAMPP as a 3.3.0. So that is very basic. I hope you already know about it. Simply install that local server and make that sure you run your Apache and you make that sure you run your MySQL. Okay, so both of these will be needed. When you install that XAMPP, then you are able to access your local host. If you go to that your local, host simply go to that local host if you go to that php info now you can see right now my php version as 8.1.2 so that is the latest version right now i am using you can also use that php 8.0 because laravel 9 required this okay so make that sure you updated your php version which is totally fine and also that is a php my admin if you go to that php my admin so here that is actually the same things better i close it now you can see that is a php my admin and here that is our all the database things so i will create another database later first of all i want to create one of the projects so if you want to install it like they have so many options getting started with the mac windows linux sales services and via the composer i want to install that laravel with via the composer if you click it now you can see that is a common line we have to run so before run that composer create project make that sure you have to do you have to install that composer simply go to that composer as a get composer.org and from here right now the that is one of the dependent manager and latest version they are using as a 2.3.3 from here if you go to the download and you can install it via the command line okay you can you, you install it via the command line rather than I will recommend it simply go to that Windows installer that is a download and run composer setup.exe simply click it in here it will be downloaded one of the exe file and install it in your system and after install that composer if you want to check it simply go to any command prompt I have already installed it if you run with the composer composer and then the v click as enter now that will be get all that your composer details you can see i have already installed that composer right now i'm using that version 2.2.7 which is totally fine so if you are using that old version if they have some of the common line as a composer v for checking your version if you want to update it then that is another one as a composer self update rather than you can also use it only the composer update and if you want to redact it to one to the two version then you have to write down as a composer self update and version two and if you want to go back to your again one version then you have to write down as a composer self update and then roll back so that is simple some of the common line rather than as i told you simply download it and install it that will be installed in your system okay so it's very easy one of the software make that sure you install that composer and also another things will be needed as a node.js make that sure you install that node.js that is a node.js.org because here we'll install some of the external package all the package will be installed in here so that is a node.js will be needed and here you can see that is a recommended for most user as a 16.14.2 and right now their current version as a 17.8.0 so I will recommend it to download this part. So when you click it in here, automatically that will be installed one of the software. It's totally free and install that Node.js in your system. That is simply next by next process that Node.js will be installed in your system. If you want to check it is Node.js in installer or not, simply run another one. Like you can also do that things in here or rather than I close it open any common prompt i open that common prompt and when you install it if you search if you write down as a node and then v if it's installed successfully then that will be display as a version name 
So right now I am using that Node.js version as a 16.13.0. So make that sure you install that Node.js, make that sure you install that Composer. So that is a two of these things will be needed first. Okay. So I have already installed that Node.js. I have already installed that Composer. Great. Now I want to do, I want to create one of the project. So if you want to create it in, right now in our local host, okay, I have already installed that XAMPP into the local host that is ST docs. As you already know, that is one of the main root directory of your local server. So if you want to create this project in your desktop, that's totally fine. So, but right now I'm to install it in our local host, in our ST docs here, I want to open with the CMD. Now there is a common prompt is running. And here I want to do, I want to install um, a Laravel. If you want to go, I want to create another new project. I copy it and now here I want to do and to paste it. Okay. So here there is a ST docs. Right now we don't need this. I close it. Now there is a ST docs. Here I simply paste it. Mm, sorry. So better I, now I copy it and now I want to do and to paste it. Now we can see there is a composer create project Laravel Laravel and that will be your project name. So right now I want to create one of the project. What of the name actually you choose right now uh, for education purpose? I name it as a jet. Okay, jet auth. So this type of one of the project I want to create. So if you want to create it, simply click as a enter. Now that will be um, created one of the folder name as a jet auth. Here that will be created one of the folder. Okay, in particular that positions. Now that will be created one of the folder as a jet auth. Now here you can see it's now created one of the pro folder name as a jet auth. So friend, it may take little time. Okay, it may take little time. Make that sure you are connected with the internet. So it will be download all that file from to the internet. So it may take little time. Better when it will be done, then I'll come back again. Here you can see friend our Laravel project installed successfully. Okay, it's downloaded all that file from to the internet and now it's successfully installed. Great. So our project is created. I have already put that name as a jet auth. Now if you go, you can see that it's download all that file from to the internet. And now our next process, our next process we have to do, we have to change that directory. Okay, we have to change that directory to our project name and then we have to run as a PHP artisan SARP. Let's do that work for doing this. Right now we are into that ST docs. So that is our ST docs and from to the ST docs we have to go to that our folder name that is our project folder name as a jet auth, right? Now I want to do it to simply go there by the CD that means a change directory and our project name as a jet auth. Right. So that is our project name. I have named it as a jet auth. So that is a jet auth. Now if you click as enter, now you can see it's redacted to our another folder as a jet auth. Right now that is our project. And now if you want to access our project, we have to run with the PHP artisan and then serve. Okay, that is how we as a PHP artisan serve. If you now click as enter, now that will be give you one of the development server link. So that is our development server link. I copy it and now I want to do I want to access our project. If you click as enter, now you can see Laravel installed successfully. How much easy it is right now? I'm using that Laravel's latest version as a 9.7 and my PHP version as a 8.1.2. So that is our total Laravel project. If you I want to do uh, for this project, I want to use that sublink text editor. First of all, I want to take our folder. I want to take this project in our sublink text editor. Simply take it. Yeah, perfect. Right now, that is all that Laravel default file. Right, and that is our config file into the con that is our booster file, that is our app, all that our HTTP in fundamental. I have already discussed about that things with you. That is a controller, all that your controller will be saved in here. That is our middleware, right? And that is our route. So that is our route as a web route. Great. So right now our Laravel project is now successfully created. In our next video, I want to install Laravel another package as a JD stream package because we'll develop one of the multi authentication system with using that Laravel JD stream package. That is a packages. And here you can see there is a JD stream package. So how can you install it in our next video? I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.